Hey guys, welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. Today, I want to show you guys a really cool tip. Um, I'm going to show you how you can set up like multiple different lights. So when you render, we're only going to be rendering, for example, this one light. Um, this here, for example, is a, a setup I did for the uh, tutorial for the HDR iPad for, for parking lots. This is something that hasn't come out yet. But basically what it is, is I have all of these HDRIs here that me and my team shot. And um, we are gonna light this guy with each of the different scenes and then batch render it here um, using Redshift. So how do we go about setting up multiple lights which can be rendered out as a batch in Houdini and Redshift? Okay, so the first thing is um, we have our sculpture and we have whatever cameras we want to use. So we have three cameras here. I just want to double check that my cameras uh, depth of field set up so if you hit enter on the viewport you move this here or just right click and select Z focus handles Oops. Z focus handles and enable the depth of field in here in the redshift camera so we go to camera and uh, we want to create an RS, RS dome and we want to select on the texture the HDRI that we want to use for this and right now I'm just going to enable it on my viewport so that um, I can change the intensity and we're going to come onto our out and we're going to create a redshift node so if you do redshift, you will create a node here and I want to change a few things here. I'm going to select which camera I want to use. So camera one, if I wanted to do frame range, you can do it here. On my output path, um, I want to change this to dollar $OS slash dollar os dot dollar f dot exr so if you've seen my tutorials before this is going to create a folder that is named whatever you name here and it's going to put a file in there that is named whatever you name here with the dollar f which represents the frame and as an exr so that would be in this case part one on the out we copy this and paste it here it's gonna be named part one when we render so it's important to change the file prefix okay and then once we go to redshift uh, onto the object we want to force the lights that we want to grab so if you come here you can select whichever one of your HDRIs so I'm gonna select number one and Sorry guys, and the the main thought is that you want to make sure that you have all the lights turned off in your scene. So I'm gonna do it with part one here. Open up the render view. I'm gonna come onto the object, and you you wanna like it's gonna force the light that we chose part one. But if you have all of these ones turned on gonna render all of this one so you want to make sure you turn all the lights off on your scene and you only keep you don't need to keep anything turned on it's gonna see I turned it off it's gonna automatically load this HDRI number one so as you can see it's rendering it right now 
if I go to my transform you will see my light is turned off but you will see it updating on the viewport alright and then we can come here see it's off so just double check that every all of the lights are turned off and you can pick multiple lights here but in our case we just want that one light and then we're gonna just grab two of these nodes I want to make sure that my output paths are set correctly and I'm gonna select both of them and I'm gonna go to main go down and this by default will be on non-blocking current frame rendering you need to make sure it's turned off then we do a merge we select both of them and we connect them into the merge and if you come here into controls you can select the order of operations so frame by frame or node by node so it's gonna render out all of these node frames and then all of this one or it's gonna do like one frame one frame two two three three four four and so we go over here you hit render and you're good to go you can do batches all right guys i hope this tip helps and uh, i'll be back with more